Welcome back everybody, another bow review today. I got something nice from dearseeker.com. And what do we get? Da -da. Look at this. A pretty nice looking Turkish bow. Has here on the belly side a black color. Has nice whippings here. The rest is nice. I guess it's bamboo. A bit massive sears and a bit massive string bridge, but we know this from these mass produced things. 30 pounds at 28. It's not so bad, handle feels nice. You have one inlay as an arrow pass. It looks to me that the Kassan is quite short, but that's me. What can I tell you? The Turkish bow laminated is 52 inches. The string is 45.3 uh, inches and is Dyneema. Brace height is 6.9 to 7.2. You can have this bow from 25 to 60, but when you check in the shop, it's even written 20 pounds, so I don't know. And the max draw is, or the draw length is 30, and max draw is 32, so recommended is 30, but this bow is supposed to do 32, no arrow weight. You get a year warranty. The best thing, if this bow performs now decent, which I suppose it will do, Maybe a little too heavy sears, maybe you get a little hand jog or something, we will see. But this bow is $220, including shipping worldwide. So that's that's quite something, I would say. So that's why. Interesting to have a look at. Comes bow, strings, leaf, nothing else, no description, nothing. There we can always improve. Almost every bow builder can improve there. 49 and a half for the length, knock to knock, and Arrow pass is kind of like, let me guess, 22, 3, yeah, 23 millimeters. I could give it 22, but we say 23. So, now let's check the string. Treat it so the string is, has nice loops, is quite thick, so, um, could think of another string. This will give you vibrations, I guess, but I'm not the bow builder. The string is thick and it's really dark on something. But black, so color wise. So come to Papa 30 pounds, just nice. Loop fits nice, string fits nice, looking good. Brace head is supposed to be between 6.9 and 7.2. We are at 7.5. Might get a little shorter. We know these bows, uh, the strings, they stretch a little after shooting a few times. And the weight of the bow, I can tell you, it's very lightweight. 295. Bomba. Doesn't look bad. But I think center serving we should put it maybe the other way around. So stringing and stringing is easy. Of course, it's only 30 pound. Let's see what we get here. Better? Yeah, a bit. So we have quite some vibration, but of course it's the string which causes a lot because of the material and we have quite some weight here in the sears and the string bridge is quite massive. So a lot of weight there. Let's see now the draw. You see it? So 28 is nice, 29, 30, 31 is nice too. And it gets a little stiff, so, but a good 30 inches, maybe 31. Not so bad. So now let's shoot. If it performs nice for $200, free shipping, one could not complain, I guess. 30 pounds at 28, so I guess we are at 34, 35 at 30. And the arrows are 240 grain or something. 
So, oh yeah, it, it vibrates a little with these arrows. But it's not a bad bit loud. But for the price, not complaining it. It goes there, so you have a little vibration in your hand. So 30 inches is nice, let's see. Now we shot the bow a few arrows. So up till here I would draw not further. So 30 inches, yes, 32, don't do it. Yeah, it's a little loud, a little rough, not so refined as others, but when you see the price point, including shipping, it's still okay. Little bit more distance. Yeah, the arrows might be a little... No, they are not. No, it was me shooting. <laughs> Don't blame the material. Yeah, they flex a little. It doesn't feel like it wants to throw more than 30. But let's see. Yeah, this is worse. Handle now while shooting is a little small, so I would most probably put some leather around it because for my hand it's just a bit too small and it's this, 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 there is this lacquer on it. It's very shiny, nice and glossy, but it's very slippery. So I think even if you have sweaty hands, then this handle might cause you problems. So either you have a glove or you put some leather or some, some something around there then it works. The errors are 330 grains, so we are roughly at 10 grain per pounds. Maybe a little bit lower. A little bit maybe. Let's see. And we are at 35 pounds at 30 inches. 160. 164. Now the bow wants to draw a bit more now, 163, 162, 163, relatively constant in speed, a little bit above 160 foot per second. Let's quickly see what 260 grain would do. Sixty five, hundred seventy five, yep, uh, hundred sixty two. So you can get more out of it. You need to do any anyway anything with the handle. It's a little, little shocking for a beginner. Thirty inch draw, maybe thirty one. Look at this. It's not bad. You can shoot a bit more lightweight arrows with it. Said they are 260 here. They are But you feel it even more in the hand, of course. But it's okay. It's not the most precise thing. So you need to work on it, that you get your things done, that you get your grouping done. So this bow requires a little bit of work. The bow draws nice, shoots nice. For the price, I think it's okay. And you get used to it. So once you, you need to hold the handle properly, then you can shoot decent groups with it out of the box. Well, not too bad. These are... I think thousand spine, <laughs> a little too, a little too weak maybe. Yeah, they go way to the left. But yeah, 800 spine or something for this weight is not bad, not bad. And it's it's a really nice made bow look. Yeah, this is Sears are, in my opinion, a little bit massive with this big string bridge. One could send there a lot of stuff away. 
and even here for a 30 pounder it's quite thick so this is my index thing and this is the, the bush it's nice and wide here so I like this with this reinforcement then you have these nice limbs and they're looking good I said Kassan looks a little short to me but that's me fade out goes until here and here from the handle so mm, not that far but I think it's okay. You get a whipping for safety purpose here, that nothing will happen. Here this nice black, find it a nice touch. Handle is good, for me a little too small. It's almost Simsex size. And for the rest, here the bow is quite wobbly. And in this direction it's relatively stiff. Of course we have the string resting in the string bridges there, so it's not much going on. So torque resistant. Torque resistance is good. There is no name, no nothing on it, so only the poundage. Would be nice to see a small something and I would have DSEK that we know from when the bow is. There you have it folks. A nice Turkish bow, would say for a beginner, I mean you can have it up to 60 pounds, so even you know for the seasoned archer. Draws nice, shoots nice, you get a nice leaf with it. No documentation. No information, only the poundage at 28, which is not so helpful, but what can we do? So what do we get? Packaging, a bow, a string and a sleeve. The sleeve is very nice. I mean, this is a nice sturdy material with big DRC current. So at least you know what you get. It's nice and thick and has a strap there that you can close it fine. Yet only bowstring sleeve is three points, right? Uh, both string sleeve, four points, three, four points. The handling of this bow, stringing and stringing is easy. This bow is straight. Of course, it's mass production, so, but I would say like with others from Buck Trail, when the bow lasts the first few shots, the bow will last you a while. Here we have a little, so you need to be careful in stringing. So you better use a stringer or the other step through method. The sear was a little twisted, so be careful with this bow when you string it and unstring it. It's a little... Yeah, you need to be careful, so we give it a 9 for the handling. The build, I can't say anything, of course it's for me it's overbuilt, but it has nothing to do with the build quality. We have here this whipping, this is nicely covered in something, so it's not going anywhere. It's decent made, so for the build quality, everything is nice, glued together, sanded, transitions are nice, there is nothing. The paint job is nice, so there are no dimples and pimples and nothing. So this bow looks good and is well made, so I give you 10. The basic feel is, for me the handle is too small and too slippery with this shiny gloss finish on it. A little sweaty hands and I have hardly a chance to control this bow. Oh, yeah, yeah, here you feel it a little wobbling. Sears are too heavy boys. So the sears need to thin out the sears, make the string bridge smaller. Here when I do this it's really, you know, I don't like this feeling when this wobbles too much. So basic feel is okay, I would say there is nothing to complain. Handle is too small, but that's me. Draws nice, shoots nice, fine, 10. Draw experience is good. So it's here, yeah, you have a bit much slag, but it's okay for a bow like this. From here it starts, starts nice until there, yeah, so 31 inches, constantly nice going up, and then you feel the handle coming. So I would take a little less material here and put the material in there. So the handle could be a little thicker, or maybe reinforced, it's a little bending, so this is not so nice, but the draw itself is nice. 231 I would say is nice, you say 30, so it's fine, does it 10? Shooting experience, you have quite a lot going on. Of course, it's the string, it's slow and causes a lot of vibration. And you have a lot of weight here, so I feel a lot in the hand going on. That's why I would do even a leather around it, so shooting experience, I give you nine, shoots nice but it you feel it and especially 260 grain arrows is not so lightweight for a 34 pounder 35 pounder 
it's there are better ones out for that but not for this price 52 price value i give this one a five out of five because 200 dollars free shipping a nice bow like this durability i can't tell but you know they made already whippings here you have to live a little with this a bit hand shock some people don't mind and like it even i don't you have an inlay here so you don't scratch up your bow like others from hungary still don't make it and you scratch up your bow when you don't do proper cut throw and stuff i like that but the handle for me too small and too slippery for the rest and it's too wobbly here this is i had this the last time with the chinisery from alipo it was here so thin and then this was too massive so you get this wobbly wobbly here i don't like but it's me personally so you or mileage my vary and you see it completely different it's fine by me i think this here is a little overbuilt the handle is a little too small but for the price you can't say anything it's a 200 dollar bow you get it free shipping so did i say 200 200 220 200 90 something 219.90 so 220 dollars is a bit more than 200 euros i think it's fine so it's easy for this one if you just start with your first you want a you want a horse bow <laughs> uh, yeah it's a good choice so check them out i'll leave the link in the description yes i got this bow for free just to mention because others are always a little bucked when i get stuff for free you know um nothing more to it it looks nice with this wood bamboo stuff here it, nothing to complain a little wobbly but it's a 30 pound or maybe a 40 pound would be a little more stiff but it's, it's as it is and i think when they don't make the sea as big i guess they use the same sears on all the poundages so with a 45 pound you will not feel this heavy sears that much anymore because then you compensate for it with the poundage obviously and everything is a bit more sturdy and durable here and then it works but as, as a beginner's bow you draw 30 31 inches just nice you could do maybe maybe 80 i don't want to break bows you know so until here i would say and then you need to force the bow and this is 31 inches maybe so i would not go further but that's me just me so dear seekers thank you very much for sending the boat to me and dear youtube watchers you stop now and you press downstairs this subscribe button and this notification bell and whatever have you and you please write me a comment in the comment section we need to get archery more going on youtube otherwise we disappear when we don't do anything and we can only do anything with your engagement so if you watch a lot of archery videos if you are subscribed to a lot of archery video uh, channels and you comment on them and there's a lot going on it helps of course me and my algorithm but in general it helps this archery community on youtube you know with weapons they don't see it anyway mm, so you know it's just you know engage more with all watch all archery channels out there traditional or the others and engage so thank you very much for subscribing for watching for your time and for your comment down there in the comment section below <gasps> and that's all i have for you today thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one